Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a convert box quiz. And this is a great way to segment your traffic, whether you want to generate more leads, send your traffic to a specific page, maybe like a discount, affiliate offer, whatever it's going to be, this is what's going to allow you to do it. In case you haven't checked out convert box, I will put a link down below that bypasses the regular page. So if you want to get lifetime access, that's going to be an option for you. Let's get started. So when it comes to the quizzes and overall segmentation, you can use any of their overlays when it comes to doing this. I like the call out one. This is what's going to appear on the bottom left. After a certain amount of time, they're on their page. Maybe it's going to be a certain amount of seconds, how long they viewed, and so on and so forth. Let's click on select. Anytime you're going to utilize a quiz, you want to click on the segmentation template. That's going to be the best one for you. So what I did is quickly just change my picture. Aside from that, uh, what we want to do is just pretty much enter in the information that we have so far. For this, we are going to be utilizing steps. This is going to be the important aspect. So if someone clicks on, say, A, they're going to get taken to a specific page that represents what they're looking for. Same with B and same with C. This demonstration or this picture right here is a perfect example of what I'm going to be doing. So if we're looking at this, let's say welcome to our site. This says to make sure we provide you with the best experience, please select an option that describes you. Or in other ways you could do it is, you know, what do you need the most amount of help with? There's plenty of ways of saying that, like, uh, what are you looking to accomplish? Where are you stuck with your business? What do you need help with? Like what I talked about. Uh, but we could just say, for example, lead generation. We could do increased sales. Or maybe since I talk about software so much, uh, finding AI copywriting oops, software and other. I'm just going to delete that for the time being. Okay, so that's what it would look like when we're uh, first getting started. Like I said, this will be displayed depending on how you want it to do, whether it's a certain amount of time, certain amount of scrolling going down. But this is just going to be like the minimum when it comes to starting. I'm also not going to focus too much on the aesthetics. Just want to kind of show you how that works. So we're going back to steps here. This is going to be an important part. So create multiple steps and link them together using buttons and form actions. So let's start creating steps. This is going to be our first step right here that we have. What I want to do is I can clone this, okay? And I can rename this too. So let's just call this the lead generation. So if someone clicks on lead generation, they would go to that one. Done. Okay, and if you notice that I click on them, they're going to be the same. That's good because I kind of want to keep the base the same and then I can change things around, maybe add a picture to it, do lead generation and so on and so forth. I'm going to clone this. Once again, I'm going to rename this. This is going to be if they click on increase sales. So right now I'm just creating these steps in it. Last but not least, one more time. This is going to be like the copywriting option or copywriting tool. Let's do AI copywriting. So now we have kind of like all the steps. It's like you're creating a sales funnel, right? So what we want to do is go to the first step. And what we want to do is click on each of these buttons. So if I click here, we go to button settings. And then what I can do is go to or jump to specific step. Okay, so what I like doing, if they click on this, they're going to be going to lead generation. So let's save that. So that makes sense, right? If they click on this, it's going to take them to the lead generation aspect. Let's do the same thing for the next one. Button settings. So this was the increased sales. Let's go, uh, go to or excuse me, jump to step. Let's go to increase sales. Let's save that. And of course, last but not least, with the AI copywriting software, button settings. We want the jump to step and of course, AI copywriting. So right off the bat, now we have like the first part of it, which is kind of like half of it. It's not super crazy segmentation, but it's certainly enough to give your traffic or your visitors exactly what they're looking for. Like if they need help with lead generation, we need to send them something that's going to help them generate more leads, whether that's going to be talking about creating squeeze pages that are higher converting, using tools when it comes to uh, relating to that creating better lead magnets, you know, there's just so many things that we can do. So this is going to be the lead generation aspect. We can do something like this. Perfect. More leads it is. And what we can do here is 
pretty much anything we want. This is where you have to be a little bit more, I guess you could say, uh, creative in terms of where you're going to be sending them. That's something you want to know before you probably get started. So if someone needs help with more leads, what are we going to be doing? We can get them on our own email list that gives them automation about generating more leads. We can send them to a specific article on our page. We can send them to you know maybe an offer that's really good when it's all about lead generation. We can send them to a training, video magnet, video magnet, lead magnet video. I'm going to put be sure to check out our most popular article down below when it comes to generating, I don't know, let's say like 1,000 new leads in 45 days, you know, using free traffic. Just something like that. Say like it's a case study. And then what I can do here, I'm just going to delete these. So for this example, this is just going to be a button uh, to check out what we have there. Click here to see the case study. And what I can do here is click on this again. We go to button settings. We can go to redirect to URL is great, www.yoursite.com um, slash lead case study. Okay, so for just an example, if that was an article you had, you can do that. I would do open uh, redirect URL in a new tab. I always like doing that. It's just a great way to keep people on your website still with more tabs. So that's pretty much where that one would lead. Okay, so if they went to first step, they clicked on lead generation, here's where they would go. And that's the specific case study. Keep in mind, on that case study, you could have like a lead magnet if they wanted to join there. Maybe you have an offer there, maybe you have your own product, maybe someone else's product, their possibilities are endless, obviously, maybe you're monetizing it through ads, whatever it's going to be, right? So now that we have that, let's say they clicked on increase sales. Okay. So once again, Oops, here we go. Perfect. Let's increase your sales. All right, so just give me a second here. What I'm gonna do is just come up with an example so you don't have to watch me type. Okay, perfect, let's increase your sales. I created the perfect newsletter that shows you how to increase your sales without increasing your traffic. Let's go on over back to elements. And now this is pretty much just like we've been using uh, ConvertBox. What we can do is add our form. And obviously I can remove that. I can remove that. I can remove that. This here, we want rounded, that's fine. Form settings, uh, we don't need name, or at least I don't like using name, it's just less to do. So. Uh, click here to continue something like that. And then obviously we could put like a call to action too as well. Best email below, something like that. Like I said, I'm not worrying too much about the aesthetics. Like I could always put like, you know, something when it comes to increasing your sales and so on and so forth. But that's just the perfect example when it comes to like utilizing this to segment them. Hey, I have actually a newsletter when it comes to increasing your sales. Now you're going to get people on your list who just really want to increase their sales. And there's plenty of things you can talk about. Okay. Let's go back to the steps. And for our last one, we have AI copywriting. Let's generate some content, okay? This is gonna be if they were interested in, uh, what's the word, uh, finding an AI software. Uh, click the link down below for one of our best AI tool uh, recommendations. So this is just an example of giving you a few examples of things that you can do. For example, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to add in like a picture here. Okay, so I added a picture there. What I want to do is delete this. Click here for the best AI tool, something like that. So in this specific example, this could be like an affiliate link. Okay, so here, once again, we have button settings, redirect to URL, you know, Jasper website link dot com, something like that. And that's where that one would go. So if you look, take a look back at it now, we have our steps, we have our first step. So if they click on lead generation, they get set to something that's obviously related to lead generation. In this example, we're sending them to say like a case study that we already have. Okay. 
if they go in back here, if they click on increase sales, they're going to the segmentation that's revolving around increasing sales. And hey, let's say we have a newsletter about that. They can sign up for their email. Last but not least, if the other option is going to be finding AI copywriting software, we can send them to a software tool right away that say like, hey, this is one of the most popular. I think you're going to like this. Check this out. We could also send them to a review, maybe a video, an article. But I think you get the idea. This is kind of giving you some examples and ideas of what you can use when it comes to utilizing a quiz and, of course, segmentation. So hope you got something out of this. It's pretty simple to do. Like the, the most editing you're probably going to want to do here is figuring out what's the most important thing that you can help your audience when they come to your website. What do they need help with? And what do you have to offer in terms of that? It could be your lead magnet. It could be signing up for an email. It could be a course. It could be someone else's course. It could be an article, video training, whatever it's going to be. That's obviously going to be up to you. But that's how you kind of create a very quick quiz when it comes to segmentation in order to really increase your conversions by giving your visitors exactly what they're looking for because heck, they told you in the first place. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value you out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below in case you haven't gotten the tryout convert box. The link will be down below where you can get to that special lifetime access page. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.